Welcome to Every Way Woman. So we all love a good profile pic, but our selfies and social media making our lives a little trivial. Anna, you are always on my news feed, right? You are live <laughs> on social media. I wish media. she was on a good media. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right? What do you think about this? Well, who doesn't like a little selfie? I'm just saying. But with what I have to do, I do hair and makeup, so I do do selfies. But the question is, what what it would be How trivial? How many selfies do you take before you actually post one? I think well, this is I'm interesting. Selfie right now, Stacy. Oh <laughs> See, right? <laughs> but it goes back to the question: What is trivial, though? What like, define it? What I mean, do you think trivial is, Stacy? I think trivial is minimizing the moment. So we're out to dinner and we're, we're supposed to enjoy each other, and every moment you're. I mean, oh, do wait, you, let's take a picture of what we're eating. Why do you do that when you go camping? I mean, do you go camping and you watch TV while you're camping? I think social media has its place, but sometimes we're a little too aggressive with it. See, I'm going to agree with you. I agree, like, there's a time and a place for everything, but being that social media is a future, people want to know what everybody's doing yeah. online, on YouTube, Is that Instagram, what they're Twitter. really doing, though? Because I know, for, at least for me, I'm putting up an idealized version of my life, okay? <laughs> I know I probably look really cool. Just kidding. Um, but my everybody's day is a little bit normal, and nobody puts up a bad day, a but bad hair post, day. Let me take a selfie. But you know what, Justin? They're posting everything. Everything is going everything. on social media. From the time you woke up, now I'm at Starbucks, now I'm at Walgreens, now I'm about to use the bathroom, now I'm going back to Walgreens. And it's not telling a story, it's almost like bragging in People a sense. People love that though. People want to know what they're, what they're, who they're idol, what they're doing. I don't so go who that wants far. to know that? I don't go that far. I maybe post uh, five during the week, maybe. But, um, <laughs> but I, five, five I, think, <laughs> I think it's to keep my followers entertained, yeah. you know, because they do want to know what you're doing. I don't they think do, anybody yeah. wants to know what I'm doing. I mean, when I think about that, I don't think anybody cares See, if I go to trick. Starbucks. That's what you that's think. The, trick. the mentality is you're supposed to tweet like everybody cares about what you have to say and what you're doing, and then that's how your followers build up. You I overthink my that tweets. It's like, okay, now I have to plan 140 characters and right. find a perfect hashtag. And it's like that picture, like or that song. Oh my God, selfie. should I hashtag? Yeah. Is that song selfie? <laughs> yeah. You've heard it? Yeah. <laughs> you, then you have to think what you can have. Hashtag, what filter should I use? There's all these. I think it but, depends with what you do. Right. Like with what we do. Yes. Um, I find it important to hashtag, to put up a selfie. Hey, we're an every way woman. Hashtag EWW. You know what I mean? Hashtag ties and, in everybody. Right. Ties in the world. And Anna makes a good point. I think it's what whatever you do should feed your social media. If you're just Joe Blow and you you <laughs> you don't do anything, then how, what does it matter how many followers you have? So are you just doing it to maybe build yourself up? You want to feel important? To build up I have brand. a million followers. It's, it's to build up your brand, to build up your business, to build up your self-image. So, if you uh, want to build up that following, you it, have to Okay, be and I completely respect internet. that, but don't you think it makes it a little trivial? Trivial to who? Yeah, that's a good question. In, in general, to your own experience, well, does it, you know... It's not trivial to me if I want to get one million followers, but when somebody asks me to follow them and I'm like, who this? <laughs> That's trivial. But I so see what you're saying, Jocelyn. It it's like, would you rather take a selfie and miss that moment, that experience, yeah. or would you rather be in that experience? And as for me, for example, I met Sophia Vergara the other day when I was on set for Modern Family. I took a picture of her real quick. Then I was like, all right, let's put the phone away. I actually want to see what's going on and, and watch before my own eyes, like this show unfold. So I think you can take a selfie, but then get back into the experience. I always get myself into the experience, and then I think, oh, I should really capture this. But there is a moment where it can flip, and it's also dangerous. Right, I mean, that's true. You've had people who are almost stalking you yes. on social media. Yes. And essentially, you're feeding that's into that. That's why I only that. put five. <laughs> As opposed she to six. To five. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it does happen. You have to be very careful. Not, I mean, I'm not going to post something up here at the movies. Or, or here, you at your house. Yes. Unless like, I'm doing like an appearance somewhere. You I, I think I mean? that social media has its place. I think that we need to be cautious. I think we need to use it appropriately. And at the time that it starts crossing those boundaries, that's when I think it becomes what dangerous. What are those boundaries, though? Stalking. Mm -hmm. Or posting things that are inappropriate or starting to stalk people. You know, students, you know, girls will stalk other people. Uh, well, girls will me. stalk your <laughs> own boyfriend. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. Right. But so. basically something that will hurt your self-image and hurt your own life, you need to be careful with. But I mean, it, if it is essentially unsafe, why are we still doing that? Because we don't think it'll happen to us. You Until don't think it, it will happen to Until you. Happens, yeah. So, oh, that'll happen to Jeslyn, but I'm gonna post 100. It, it will never happen to me. 
That's why that's why we continue to do it. I used to post a lot on myself until I started getting like right. um, threats. I started getting threats, emails. What do you mean threats? Emails mm-hmm. sent to me, like being rude. Social media can be very rude. From People can be so rude. Men You're not women? okay up here. <laughs> your haters it. can bring you down. You'll take it. They're yeah. behind a computer. They'll be what they say. And you're behind well, the others. What's interesting yeah. too is that people behind a computer feel like they can say or post things that they mm-hmm. would never do in person. Right. right. Even photos of themselves. I think that a lot of girls often come out a little more promiscuous mm-hmm. in the like pictures they're posting than they would ever do in mm-hmm. normal life. It's interesting because I've seen um, television shows that'll actually bring up pictures of, look, I found this on your Facebook. <laughs> Do you want the white rest of the world to see it? Because now they just did. And that's a whole different conversation about posting things that'll come back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> that's trivial. More when we come back on Every Way Woman. <laughs> I love myself.